Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a new app out today called Fitness Totals, and it's a way to keep track of how you're doing towards some of your fitness goals. And so when you open up the app the first time, uh, this is a fresh install, so it basically gives you an idea, uh, but basically Fitness Totals provides an aggregate view of all your activity types. So it uses your health data, uh, they're privacy focused, so they're not using it for anything but displaying things locally on your device, but it lets you compare how you're doing in terms of steps or workouts or miles run or something like that compared to yesterday, the last week, last month, last year. It of course also supports widgets, so you can put widgets on your home screen with the stats that you care the most about. And then you can choose which activities you want to keep track of, and they have a huge list here of things you can track. So to use the app at all, you have to give it access to your health data. Uh, so I'm gonna say yes to all. It asks for flights climbed, steps, and walking and running distance. There we go. So let's jump into the app. And so you can see uh, it's currently pulling in the data, so it's going to update here a little bit. Uh, but you can see I've taken 6,705 steps today, 3.1 million this year versus 3 million last year, so a little bit better than 2019, so feeling good about that. Uh, I can see my walking and running uh, miles, I can see flights climbed, and that's it. Uh, I can see this share yearly totals right here at the bottom, and if I do that, it basically spits out an image for the activities I want to share. I can choose which ones I want. Maybe I just want to share that one and I get this image. And so I can share that to Twitter, my photo roll, whatever I want. If I go into the settings, I've got quite a few options here. And so I can configure what activities I'm tracking. So it only asks for those first three up front, but you can look at all of these and then add whichever ones you want. So I actually don't personally care about steps that much. I don't care about walking, running. What I do care about are my workouts for walks and runs. Um, I also care about, let's see, active calories burned. And I don't care about flights climbed. So I actually don't care about any of the three that it does by default, but I can obviously just turn those off and then turn on the ones I want. So I go back and now it's gonna ask me for access to the things that I just asked for. So active energy and workouts, it needs those. I'm gonna give it both of those. There we go. Go back to my main screen. And here we are, I can see my walking distance. Uh, again, much better this year. <laughs> COVID-19 had me uh, walking the dog quite a bit more than I did the previous year, I guess. Uh, I can see my running distances, not very impressive. That's the thing I wanna work on in the next year. And then active calories burned, quite a few more than the previous year. So was definitely more active this year. Let's hop back to the settings and I can set the icon to a bunch of different options. There's quite a few fun ones uh, here. I can change the units from miles to kilometers can do some widget stuff. Uh, so this is basically showing you how the widgets work. I'll show you that in a second. And then some other stuff about their privacy policy and the people who made the app. So all very cool. Now, let's say, and actually let me jump back in there. Uh, here's active calories burned. You can really see like this week, this month, this year, and then all time, how many you've done. And again, there's a share button on basically all of these pages where you can tweak it to show exactly the time frame that you want to share and then share it to, again, wherever. It just spits out an image file. Then from my home screen, I can go here and say I want to add, uh, let me actually go straight down to fitness totals. Uh, they've got three widget sizes, so you can go as big or as small as you want. Um, I'll go with this one, so I'll add this widget. And then it's doing my walking workouts by default. Uh, let me actually change this to running. Uh, and then I can choose the time period, uh, today versus yesterday. Uh, let's do, well, actually running is not good. Let's go back to walking. <laughs> so let's do today versus yesterday, and then this year versus last year. And so I pull those up, and now I can see that I've walked a little bit more than I did yesterday already, and then this year again, I'm way ahead. So that's that, it supports dark mode, so if you toggle your device into dark mode, I suppose I'll do that right now, you can see that. And now, of course, everything looks great. The widget switches and everything. So really cool app. Just a couple bucks on the App Store. And it's available right now.